started to sink in mm -hmm. that he was the suffering Messiah. Yes. Now, yeah, they was perhaps be becoming difficult about him. Uh, uh, what is this crazy talk uh, about death and resurrection anyway? Uh, what did he mean by uh, but uh, they would soon uh, hear him uh, uh, began to talk about uh, his coming into uh, his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this text here contains such an expression. One of the most, yet one of the least understood part of the gospel. Right. You see, Jesus is Jesus, the transfiguration, is a moment of the setting with Jesus himself as the connecting point, uh, acting as the bridge uh, that is between heaven and earth. All right mm -hmm. now. Am I all right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, so, so Jesus and his three closest friends, uh, Peter, James, and John, they goes up onto a mountain. Church, nothing unusual. Uh, Jesus will often get away from the crowd just to go pray and rest. Uh, but from here on, uh, the ordinary had ended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no sooner do they arrive, mm -hmm. Jesus is suddenly transfigured. And transfigured literally means uh, uh, to change shape or form. And this is what happened right here. Jesus changed in appearance before their very eyes. Right. And his face shone like the sun. His clothes became as white as light. Other word, he glowed in Mark 9, 3, uh, verse 3 says, And his garment became shining as seemingly white as snow, as no fuller on earth can white be. All right, now. Mm -hmm. That's what I yeah. <laughs> You see, Clorox could not get his clothes that white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Walmart bargain brand bleach uh, could not get his clothes that white. Mm -hmm. uh, people of God, this uh, if this text does not excite you spiritually, something is mighty bad wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, there is something about a mountaintop experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y'all hear what I said? Uh -huh. and, and I got a question. Have you ever had a mountaintop experience in your life? Uh, yeah. Well, what are you saying, preacher? Yeah. When God bless you in a powerful way when you have been praying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. And God came through in a powerful way and God keep on blessing you all and over again what do you call that that is a mountain top experience mm -hmm. yes y'all hear what I said yes. listen when God blesses you financially and you uh, did not see it coming and when God turned uh, your help around in spite of what the doctor said uh, my brothers and sisters that's a uh, mountain experience. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, when maybe you apply for a car or a house that you didn't think you was going to get it. You know you didn't have enough credit points, but somehow God made a way for you out of no way. That is a mountain top of spirits. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, Dr. Luke 6 and 38 says, it says, give, and it shall be given to you. Amen. It says, good measures, pressed down and shaken together. Yes. 
and running over shall man give unto your bosom. Can I get a witness here? People of God, have you ever had a mountaintop experience? Uh, you have the tendency I want to stay right there where you are on the mountaintop. Am I right about it? On that mountaintop we encounter the almighty God. Can I get a witness here? On the mountaintop you just want to stay in the presence of God. But in the valley there is an account the demonics <laughs> on the mountain top <laughs> we encounter our faith herds <laughs> but in that valley <laughs> we encounter <laughs> are those who consider Christians <laughs> of our faith of battle <laughs> but on the mountain <laughs>
known as the representative of the law of prophecy. Am I right about it? Then yeah. listen. And Jesus even said in Matthew, I think in Matthew 5, he said, Think not that I come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Is that right? Yeah. My brothers and sisters, here is the lawgiver standing on the mountain with Jesus. Elijah and Moses appeared as Jesus witness sustaining his deity. His mission, his teaching, his suffering and resurrection and his victory over death and the grave. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Listen. Mm. And the disciples of Jesus, guess what? The disciples of Jesus was able to identify uh, the two prophets of old. Yes. And Peter was given uh, this divine regulation. Saying this right. 
right here. Say, this is my beloved son. He said, listen to him. I'm a little about it. And just when the disciples made the decision to camp out and park. Shut up. 